Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Worst Effing Gamer here, and today we are about to get my first 10 star hero. I so excited for this guys it's gonna be incredible i got a lot of things actually going on in this account as you can see i got a lot of fodder working here and i got my main heroes in the front here so first off i think what i'm gonna do is we're gonna take light ranger to nine stars i think that's gonna be number one and then i'm going to take abs lord to 10 stars that's the goal let's go ahead guys let's not wait any further i've been excited for this for a while my main goal is actually going to be to get as many light and dark and shadow heroes as i can that's just me thinking end game but for now let's just go ahead let's begin this by getting a light ranger to nine stars so i've got everything all ready to go here boom i got a uh, six star hero there and we're gonna need one two three oh only two only two more sacrifices all right let's go ahead guys boom nine star light ranger Ooh, i'm so excited about this here now so here's what you need a nine stars to go to 10 if you don't know this already if you're new check it out you need one nine star hero you're gonna need two copies of this particular hero and then you need one more six star of the same faction so it's gonna take a little bit longer for me to get uh her to 10 stars but let's just go ahead let's upgrade her here Woo! oh my god my gold uh, that stinks can't even get her all the way maxed out that's one of the hardest things in the game guys gold it's so really hard all right so now we've got light ranger there i'm excited about that let's go ahead let's jump now obviously my first option is eugene i really want to get eugene to 10 stars but here's the problem i do not have i have one copy in my backpack but i need one more copy of eugene and then I'll, let me see if I, no, I need a six star hero as well for the human faction. So we're going to wait on that as well. But I know for sure that we got all, everything I need here. So Stargazer and Pan here are just sacrifices. That's why I worked on them. I got a lot of fodder for these. So let's just go ahead. Boom, boom. And boom, Magmi. Here we go, boys. Evolution time. Oh. <sighs> I wish they would give me more gold when they do the upgrade. That would be really, really good. Something... Alright, so now this is our first 10-star hero. He just changed completely. Wow, he looks phenomenal, guys. Let me take a look here. So what you need at 10 stars to go to 11-star hero, you need one more 9-star hero, and then you need a copy of this particular hero. Yikes. Mm. Now I'm starting to regret getting this hero to 10 stars. Abyss Lord is awesome. I love Abyss Lord, but if you really think about it, guys, if my end goal, as you can already see here, light, I got a 9-star light hero, I got a 9-star shadow hero, I got a 6-star shadow, another 6-star shadow here, so the next goal is to get these guys here, you know what I mean, to, to 10 stars, eh. Alright, let's just go back here, um, can't do anything there, now we've actually unlocked the talent pool. But I don't have anything to work on it for. Ah, dang it. All right, that sucks. Let's go ahead. Let's keep going here. We got that. We got that. On to the next part. Let's collect fusion and evolution here. Nice. We got a 10 star hero and this over here. Boom, boom, boom. Let's get those real quick. So in the campaign, this is where I'm at right now, guys. 1705. Uh, slowly progress on the campaign. Let's take a look at the trophies. What do we got for trophies here? Obtain a 10 star hero. Nice. Fury helmet. I'll take that. All right, now with our brand new heroes, guys, I've updated heroes. Let's take a look here. I'm going to see if I can do this stage. I'm um, stage 365 here. Let's go ahead and see if this is possible. So this is my team right now that I'm currently using. Uh, Rainbow Aura. This is the Grimoire that I, I'm going with with the petrification here because my end goal is actually to get a Chaos. Um, so that's kind of what I'm planning on ahead of time. But let's go ahead right now. Uh, for this type of lineup, I would recommend... If you're going to have this type of lineup here, you're probably better off with the Ice uh, Eagle here because... Or Ice Dragon, whatever you want to call it. Because the Ice Gorilla here with the Ancient Spirit, they actually have some great synergy in freezing your opponents here. But anyways, let's go ahead, guys. Let's go into this battle here. And uh, see if I'm able to do this with my 10-star Abyss Lord here. Alright. Yikes. We're probably going to be petrified the whole round here because... That's not looking good. All right, I'm hoping Abyss Lord has enough enough health regen here. Every time he attacks, he gets. Oh my God, he's dead! Wow, this is gonna be really, really difficult here. 
really. Eugene is actually a great hero to 10 star. So Eugene is probably going to be my next guy. And obviously Light Ranger here. Yikes, she's got that disadvantage, type disadvantage here. They all do extra damage on her. And then just freezing everybody else. I got no chance at this point right now. Dang it. I'm going to need to obviously work on my roster a lot more. All right, now let's go ahead. Let's check out a little bit more of ABS Lord, guys. If you have a question about him. He, in my opinion, I think he's a great uh, mid-game hero. Because uh, let's just take a look at his abilities real quick here. Uh, his ultimate deals 390% damage. This is that... Obviously, 10 stars deal 390% damage against a random backline enemy, reduces its armor by 30% and absorbs its attack by 25% for two rounds, and then recovers 210% of, uh, percent of the attack into HP, and it cannot be dodged. This is why this guy is pretty cool. Every time he attacks, he gains some energy, so then he's going to be useful in your crusade and all that good stuff here. So early to mid game, he's great. Late game, uh, not so great anymore because that recovery is not really that important once everybody do, starts doing a lot of damage. Uh, let's take a look at his second ability here. Whenever an enemy dies, it recovers 100% of the attack into HP and then energy by 100 so anytime you can get a kill it's really really great for him third ability here just increases his attack is crit and crit damage and then torture the weak normal attack strikes the enemy with lowest HP for 130 percent damage and recovers 50 percent of the attack into HP so two abilities here that will recover HP actually all three of these abilities recover HP here so that's why this guy is so good he's got insane amount of sustain so i just love using him in the crusade i usually can finish the whole crusade uh basically with just him so that's really why i went with him earlier on but at this point now that i'm getting into the to the end game here my strategy might have to change a little bit uh what does regress do hero in champion form so i've never used the regress button here but is it can't use him let me take a look if it's possible to regress. No, you can't. Why does he have that? Does anybody know what regress actually does? All right, guys. So let's take a look at here. All I got to do is really read the rules. I should do that a little more often here. So here's what you get once you regress a hero that's 10 stars. So regressing a 10 star hero, you're going to get uh, 9 stars uh, spirit of the corresponding race. Two of them. Plus 5 star from... 5 star form of the regressed hero times 5. 5 of that hero and then uh, if it's 11 star hero, you get 3 9 star heroes plus 6 of that copy of the hero. Regressed 12 star heroes, you get 9 uh, star, 4 9 star heroes plus 5 star form of the regressed hero times 6 plus 6 star spirit of corresponding race. And then a, a 13 star hero, you get 9 star heroes times 4 five star heroes times seven ten star spirits of corresponding race one of those plus six holy moly that is a ton guys you get a lot of stuff here but you you, you need your uh, you gotta spend your eye of horus huh? Shit. so you spend your eye of horus here plus your hero that you're regressing and then i'm gonna get five of abs lord plus two any random nine star of the same faction here so actually that's not that bad guys if my plan that's actually pretty pretty cool if if my plan is to get light and dark you know what i mean light and dark faction heroes i can just when i'm ready i can just go ahead and regress all my 10 star heroes even if i get them to 10 stars it's actually pretty worth it because in order for me to get them to 10 stars i'm actually gonna have to sack her um, We'll see how it works out, guys. That's really the, the, the end game that I'm really thinking about. But this is me. I'm always thinking about the end game. What the plan is to, to you know what I mean, finish up the game here. So, basically, that's about it for today's video, guys. So, we finally got our 10-star hero. I'm really excited. Next up, it's going to be either Eugene or, depending how lucky I get in pulls, uh, Light Ranger will probably be my next... Uh, you know what I mean? 10 star hero. Hope preferably light ranger because like I said, my goal is to go light and dark factions. They're dominating my arena right now, guys. Light and dark factions. I got a lot of whales in my arena. So it's getting really, really tough. But anyways, I'm going to end it off here, guys. I will catch you on the next video. Till then, drop a like if you do. There's a link of the game in the description down below. If you want to play it, guys, download the game. This is a, a lot of fun for me. I'm loving this game. So anyways, that's about it for today, guys. I will check you out in the next video. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night, everybody.